Welcome to our 30-minute overview of selling in the Amazon store. Every Amazon seller has a few things in common. To get started, they create a selling account. Then they list products, fulfill customer orders, and receive payment. To maintain good account health, sellers should also monitor their customer service performance, Amazon policy compliance, and shipping performance. Sellers can take advantage of a range of Amazon tools and programs, too. They can enroll eligible brands in Amazon Brand Registry to enjoy access to additional selling benefits and protections. They can use Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA to help deliver items to customers. They can also use deals and coupons to promote products and sponsored campaigns and other Amazon Ads services to feature items in the Amazon Store. When sellers want to understand their sales better, they can use Amazon-provided dashboards, reports, and data, along with tools that let them adjust their selling strategies. To get you started on your selling journey, let's review some of the basic steps for selling in the Amazon store and explore common tools and programs. The first thing you need to start selling in the Amazon store is a selling account. If you don't have one already, visit sell.amazon.com, click the Sign Up button, and then click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, enter your first and last name, along with the email address and password you want to access your account with. Click the Next button, then check your email for a one-time password. Enter that password where it says Verify Email Address, then click the Create Your Amazon Account button to continue account registration. During registration, you'll provide information about you and your business, along with details we use to set up payment and settlement processing. You can use our list of frequently asked questions throughout registration to get help with specific selections and entries. When selecting your business type, make sure you pick the correct classification as it determines subsequent entries. And if you enter a business name, make sure it's the name used to register with your state or federal government. That should be the exact name that appears on your business registration document. Before clicking the Agree and Continue button, review relevant policies and notices using the links provided. Next, on the Business Information page, enter a company registration number, if applicable, as well as the address for your business. Your business address should be the address your business is registered under, or your operating address if you're an individual entity. Next, enter a phone number. Then, click the button below to receive a one-time PIN via your phone. Enter that PIN in the pop-up after you receive it and click the Verify button. Complete the business information portion of seller registration by entering the name of your business's primary contact person. Make sure this name matches that person's entire name as it appears on a government-issued ID, like a license or passport. Then, click the Next button to proceed to the Seller Information page, where you'll enter personal information for your primary contact. Select a country of citizenship, country of birth, and birth date. Then, provide a residential address and mobile phone number. You'll also need to select whether your primary contact is a beneficial owner of your business, a legal representative, or both. Make sure you add other beneficial owners if your business has more than one. Click the Save button to proceed to the billing page, where you'll enter bank account and credit card information for your business. Your bank account information is used to transfer your sales proceeds on a regular cycle. Current credit card information is required for all sellers and prevents settlement and listing issues. When you've completed your billing information, you'll be prompted to provide the necessary store and identity verification information for your business. That completes the registration process, which means you can sign in to your new Seller Central account. Seller Central is your hub for selling in the Amazon store. You can configure your Seller Central account using various settings. You'll use the selections in the main menu to navigate to tools for listing products, managing inventory, and fulfilling customer orders. 
The main menu is also how you find advertising services, payment and business reports, the account health dashboard, and other tools for managing the performance of your business. It provides access to resources that can support the growth of your business too. That includes our Growth Opportunities page, which offers a customized list of ASIN-level recommendations based on the sales potential of your products. If you're a professional seller, you'll see a section in the main menu for B2B or business-to-business -business features. And if you enrolled your brand in Amazon Brand Registry or are affiliated with an enrolled brand, you'll see a section that contains brand selling benefits. We also provide resources in Seller Central to answer questions and help you learn how to use tools and programs. You can use the search bar at the top of the page to locate specific help pages, Seller University content, or Seller forums. If you ever need more support, click Help in the top right corner. Now that you're more familiar with Seller Central, let's review a few common selling processes starting with enrolling a brand in Amazon Brand Registry. We'll also provide quick overviews of the listing process, competitive pricing, FBA, the Account Health Dashboard, and some of the tools Amazon sellers use to promote and advertise products and brands. We'll end with guidance for managing customer reviews and feedback. Although listing products is the step new sellers often think of first, if you're the owner of an eligible brand, we recommend you start your selling journey by enrolling it in Amazon Brand Registry. You'll want to do this before you list your products so they're associated with your registered brand. Brand Registry is a free program that provides eligible brands with access to additional selling benefits and protections. After enrolling, brands can use tools like stores, a content, and sponsored brands, which can help them reach more customers. They also enjoy greater control over their product detail pages and access to additional automated protections, programs, and reporting options. To enroll your brand, you need to meet a few basic requirements. You need your brand name or a logo that includes your brand name permanently affixed to your products or packaging. You also need an active registered trademark for your brand name or logo, or a pending trademark application or registration in some cases. If you meet these basic requirements, visit brandservices.amazon.com to review country-specific requirements and enroll your brand. If you don't meet these requirements, you may still be able to list your branded products in the Amazon store by requesting approval for an unregistered brand name during the listing process. You'll complete a selling application in this scenario, which we'll review a little later in this video. When you're ready to list a product in the Amazon store, whether it's a branded product you own or one you're reselling, you add the product to your Amazon inventory and make it available for sale. All active listed products are viewable to Amazon customers via a unique product detail page. That page includes a product title, at least one image, about this item bullets, and a product description. If the product you want to sell already exists in the Amazon store, you'll list it by matching an offer to the existing product detail page. If it's not already in the Amazon store, you'll create a product detail page and add your offer information simultaneously. Let's review the steps for matching a product first. Start by hovering over Catalog in the main menu. Then click Add Products. On the next page, search for your product using a product ID like a UPC, ISBN, EAN, or JAN. These product IDs are all types of GTINs or Global Trade Item Numbers. Each GTIN is paired with a unique barcode which makes products scannable. Locate the product you want to sell in the results. When you find it, select the appropriate condition, new, used, or another type. If you see a Sell This Product button, click it to start entering your offer information. If you see an Apply to Sell button, click Show Limitations directly below to understand requirements for listing the product. Then click the Apply to Sell button to complete one or more required selling applications. You may need to complete a selling application for a category, a brand, or both. 
After completing each application and receiving approval from Amazon, you can enter your offer information. You'll enter a variety of information on the offer page, including your standard price, which is what customers see when they first see your offer. This price doesn't include any shipping fees, promotions, discounts, or other order-related expenses. You can create and manage those using separate tools in Seller Central and customers see them applied at checkout. The offer page is also where you enter start and end dates for a sale, select gift services you'd like to provide, and enter notes on your product's condition. Near the bottom of the page, you'll select either yourself or Amazon as the fulfillment channel for the product. We'll provide more information about both Merchant Fulfillment or MFN and Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA later in this video. If you want to add a product that's not already in the Amazon store, we recommend starting the listing process the same way you would for a match by searching the Amazon catalog. This helps ensure the product is genuinely new and avoid duplicate listings. When you've confirmed your product isn't in the search results, click the Create a New Listing button to provide information for both your product detail page and offer. Start by selecting your product type or category. You can search or browse by clicking a category, then one or more subcategories. If you see a Learn More button with a lock, your category requires approval. Click the button to review our Categories and Products that Require Approval help page, and then click the link to the appropriate selling application. We'll review your application, and if you're approved, you can continue the listing process. If you see a Select button while choosing a category for your product, click it to begin entering your product and offer information. You'll use four main sections to enter product information. In the Vital Info section, you'll enter key product information like ID number, brand, and manufacturer. Keep in mind that if you're trying to add a branded product to the Amazon catalog, the brand name you enter or select needs to be approved by Amazon. You'll either need to enroll your brand or complete a selling application in Seller Central. If you need to complete a selling application for an unregistered brand, you'll be prompted to do so by error 5665, which will appear after you enter the unregistered brand name in the Brand Name field. In the Offer section, you'll enter and select the same kind of pricing, sales, and fulfillment information that you'd enter for a product you're matching. In the Images section, you'll upload at least one image for your product detail page. We recommend reviewing our listing guidelines before doing so and encourage you to review our Product Image Requirements help page by clicking the link provided. If your product is available in different versions for color, size, style, or other attributes, you'll use the Variations page to provide information for each version. At Amazon, we group variations or child products on a single detail page for a parent product. That helps customers find and compare versions. If you have more product information to add, click the More Attributes toggle to display the tabs for the Compliance, Description, Keywords, and More Details sections. When you've entered all required information in fields with red borders, as well as any optional information you want to include, click the Save and Finish button at the bottom of each section to submit your information. If your new product is approved, its detail page should appear within 24 hours. When you create or suggest updates to a product detail page, it's important to follow Amazon guidelines and employ best practices to help customers find and engage with your product. Before you create your first product detail page, search Seller Central for our product page style guide this includes links to downloadable style guides for each product category, full requirements for titles and images, and rules for product detail pages. In addition to the product detail page, which all sellers share, your individual offer can impact a customer's decision to buy. An important part of any offer is price. All sellers' prices have to comply with Amazon's Marketplace Fair Pricing Policy. Before you start setting prices in Seller Central, you'll want to get familiar with a few key concepts we use to organize and support pricing in the Amazon Store.
The first concept is a competitive external price. By that, we mean the lowest price for an item from major retailers outside Amazon. Amazon regularly monitors and shares competitive external prices with sellers as a point of reference. For your own price to be considered competitive in the Amazon store, your standard item price plus shipping must be less than or equal to the competitive external price we share. Competitive external prices also inform another key concept we use to organize offers within the Amazon store, the featured offer. A product's featured offer is the offer a customer often sees near the top of a product detail page with buy now and add to cart buttons. To compete for the featured offer, a seller must set a competitive price. Their product also needs to be in new condition and they need to have a professional selling account. Importantly, a seller may also become ineligible for the featured offer based on account performance and other risk factors. This helps Amazon guard against abuse and ensure that customers have a great shopping experience. In addition to competitive external prices and featured offers, another key pricing concept is the lowest price currently offered by a seller in the Amazon store. We share the current lowest Amazon price for each product with the sellers who list it to give them the opportunity to match or beat it. To view the lowest Amazon price for a product you sell, open the Seller Central main menu, hover over Inventory, and click Manage All Inventory. You'll see the featured offer for the product too, and can click View More to see the featured offer, competitive external price, and lowest Amazon price side by side. After you list and price a product, the next step is fulfillment or delivery to your customers. Amazon sellers can fulfill orders in two ways. One way is to ship products directly to customers, which we call seller or merchant fulfillment. For short, this method is also called MFN. Sellers can also send products to Amazon for fulfillment, which we call Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA. The products you send to Amazon are stored in our network of fulfillment centers. When a customer places an order, we pick, pack, and ship it on your behalf. We also take care of customer service. You can fulfill all your orders as MFN or with FBA exclusively. You can also use each method on a per-product basis to take advantage of their different benefits. Let's review a few key aspects of each fulfillment method, starting with MFN. Fulfilling orders yourself puts you in control of the customer experience. It also means you're responsible for prepping, packing, and arranging transit and delivery for orders. You'll handle customer service too, including returns and refunds. If you're fulfilling as an MFN seller, one of the first places in Seller Central you should visit is the Shipping Settings page. Hover over the gear icon to open the Account Settings menu, then click Shipping Settings. The Shipping Settings page shows your shipping rates and restrictions for seller-fulfilled orders, which include your geographic shipping regions and service levels. Your account has default shipping settings when it's first created, but you can use templates to customize them, adjusting the regions you ship to and the service levels you support for each region. You can also use shipping settings to adjust how you calculate shipping fees. Choose between a per item, per pound rate, or price band rate. If you adjust shipping settings, remember that standard shipping is a requirement for all sellers. Before selecting any additional service levels, you should also confirm that you can meet the indicated commitment. MFN sellers manage their own returns and refunds, too. Click Return Settings in the Settings menu, then use the four tabs at the top to review and update return settings for your business. As an MFN seller, you can set specific terms for your own refund and return policies. However, those terms must meet or exceed Amazon's return policy. When Amazon receives a return request from a customer that meets the terms of our policy, we authorize it automatically. When a return request isn't covered by our return policy, we notify MFN sellers by email. You can then hover over Orders in the main menu and click Manage Returns to authorize or close the return or refund request. You'll do so by deciding whether it meets the specific terms of your policy. 
If you close a request, we recommend contacting the customer to explain your decision. We provide sellers with access to our buyer-seller messaging service for this purpose. You can access this service by clicking the envelope icon in Seller Central. Buyer-seller messaging is the only approved method for communicating with Amazon customers. Follow our communication guidelines to help keep your messages compliant and customer-centric. When you receive an order from a customer that you're fulfilling directly, you need to confirm that it's been shipped in Seller Central. Hover over Orders in the main menu, then click Manage Orders to see a list of your orders, view order details, and print packing slips. You can use three metrics to help assess the health of your MFN shipping performance. Late Shipment Rate, or LSR, Pre-Fulfillment Cancel Rate, also known as the Cancellation Rate, or CR, and Valid Tracking Rate, or VTR. Hover over Performance in the main menu, then click Account Health to view all three metrics. Your LSR is the percentage of your seller-fulfilled orders that have a shipping confirmation after their expected shipping date. We calculate LSR in both 10 and 30-day periods. You should aim to keep it below 4%. Your CR is the percentage of your seller-fulfilled orders you cancel. We calculate CR in 7-day periods. You should aim to keep it below 2.5%. Your VTR is the percentage of packages from your seller-fulfilled orders with a valid tracking number. We calculate VTR in 30-day periods. You should aim to keep it above 95%. You can also use the Account Health Dashboard to monitor your customer service performance and Amazon policy compliance. We'll touch on both later in this video. If, instead of managing fulfillment yourself, you'd like Amazon to take care of packing and shipping orders, you can use FBA. With FBA, we also take care of customer service, including returns. FBA sellers can use return settings to set preferences for their returns. Your FBA products are eligible for Amazon Prime free two-day shipping, and you can choose optional services like product prep, labeling, and repackaging. To use FBA, you'll first register your selling account for the program. Then you'll select FBA as your fulfillment method while listing. You can also convert MFN products that you've already listed. Next, you'll send your products to Amazon. After they're received into our fulfillment network, your products are made available to customers and we take care of delivery when they're purchased. You'll use the Send to Amazon workflow each time you send inventory into our fulfillment network. In Seller Central, hover over Inventory in the main menu. Then, under Fulfillment by Amazon FBA, click Shipments. Next, hover over the Shipments drop-down menu and click Send to Amazon to start the shipment creation process. If you have any questions while using the Send to Amazon workflow, click Learn More or Watch Tutorial within each step. Now that you know the basics of account setup, listing, and fulfillment, let's review account health, which is an important topic for every Amazon seller. To sell in the Amazon store, you're required to comply with all applicable laws and Amazon policies. Our account health dashboard provides an overview of your account's adherence to policies and various performance targets. We regularly review the performance of all sellers and notify them when they're off target. But we recommend you actively monitor your account health to help ensure ongoing compliance. Hover over Performance in the main menu in Seller Central, then click Account Health to view the dashboard. We already reviewed the Shipping Performance section of the Account Health dashboard while learning about Seller Fulfillment or MFN. But let's quickly review the Customer Service Performance and Policy Compliance sections. Your Customer Service Performance is measured using what we call an Order Defect Rate, or ODR. Your ODR is the percentage of your orders with one or more indicators of poor customer service. That could be negative customer feedback, which is defined as a one- or two-star rating, an approved A to Z guarantee claim, or a credit card chargeback. We calculate ODR in 60-day periods and require sellers to maintain an ODR under 1% in order to sell in the Amazon store. 
The last section of your Account Health dashboard provides an overview of your compliance with key Amazon selling policies. These include our intellectual property, authenticity, listing, and restricted product policies. At the top of the Policy Compliance section, you'll see a rating for your selling account. To maintain a good rating, make sure to address any policy violations listed below in a timely manner. Note that if your rating is at risk or critical, your account may be at risk of deactivation. Click any of the policies listed for more information and to respond to a violation. Once you've started selling in the Amazon store, you may want to promote or advertise your products or brand to help them reach more customers. We provide a range of tools and programs which you can explore by hovering over Advertising in the main menu in Seller Central. If you're a professional seller, click Deals to create a lightning or seven-day deal that appears on the Amazon Deals page. Or click Coupons to create a promotion that customers can see on the Amazon Coupons page, in search results, and on product detail pages. Professional sellers with a brand enrolled in Brand Registry can also use Amazon Vine to put free units of their products in the hands of Amazon Invited Reviewers. These reviewers, or Vine Voices, post insightful opinions about your products which can help other customers make informed purchasing decisions. To use one or more of our pay-per-click advertising options as a professional seller, click Campaign Manager in the Advertising sub-menu. That will take you to a page where you can start creating three types of Amazon Ads campaigns. Sponsored Products, Sponsored Brands, and Sponsored Display. Sponsored Products ads feature a single product and appear in, alongside, and above customer search results. Sponsored Brands ads are available to professional sellers with a brand enrolled in Brand Registry. They can feature up to three products as well as a logo and headline. Or you can create a Sponsored Brands campaign with an auto-playing video that features a single product. Sponsored Brands ads appear prominently above, alongside, and below search results. Sponsored Display ads feature a single product and can appear both in and beyond the Amazon store after a customer has viewed a product detail page, or if their other browsing behaviors show they're interested in a product. Each sponsored campaign type comes with options that can help position your ads in front of relevant customers. You also control your total budget and only pay when a customer actually clicks an ad. You set a bid to choose the maximum amount you'd like to spend per click. Let's finish our overview of selling in the Amazon store by learning about customer reviews and feedback. After a customer buys a product, they can leave a public product review, seller feedback rating, or both in the Amazon store. Product reviews describe the quality of a product or its function while seller feedback ratings reflect a customer's overall experience buying from a seller. Both types of feedback play an important role in the Amazon shopping experience because they can be reviewed by other customers. Here are some quick tips to improve your chances of getting positive reviews and ratings. 1. Accurately represent a product on your product detail page. 2. Package your products to help prevent damage during delivery. 3. Ship orders on time if you're an MFN seller. 4. Monitor your inventory quantity so that customers can't accidentally purchase out-of-stock items. 5. Provide customer refunds for products returned within 30 days of purchase. 6. Respond to customer messages within 24 hours. And 7. Provide valid tracking numbers so customers can track their orders. To manage and track customer feedback, use our Feedback Manager in Seller Central. Hover over Performance, then click Feedback in the main menu. You can review your feedback rating and see recent customer comments. To post a public reply to a comment or request its removal, use the drop-down menu at the end of a row. This concludes our 30-minute overview of selling in the Amazon store. We encourage you to explore additional trainings in Seller University about each topic we covered. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.